Welcome to the Episcopal Diocese of Oklahoma Archive, located in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. My name is Pam Bell, Archivist for the Episcopal Diocese of Oklahoma. I would like to introduce you to our archive, which has been collecting papers since the first missionary arrived in the territory. Genealogy researchers are always looking for more resources and subjects to explore when it comes to our ancestor. Small religious repositories like ours can provide more than just facts about your ancestor. We can help you understand your ancestor's cultural, religious, social, and community life. Our repository of images and papers date back to 1891 when Oklahoma was divided into territories. The Episcopal Church was expanding into the Western United States as missionary districts. As the population grew in the territories, our churches expanded throughout the state and became integral parts of each community. In 1937, the Episcopal Missionary District became a full diocese. We have in our collection thousands of images from the church's early days, starting in the 1890s through the current day. Buildings, congregations, clergy, and events relay family life in Oklahoma. Our Churchman, Oklahoma newspaper, collection details, church activities, milestones, and growth. We house a complete collection of newspapers from its inception in 1891 throughout the 1960s. Biographical deacon and clergy information and church histories bring history to life. Annual convention journals, lay and clergy members participating in statewide events. Additionally, we house administrative papers, scrapbooks, overseas mission papers, and church women's papers. The bulk of our repository is rich in family history, detailing how the parishioners established and developed churches through their membership and volunteerism. While the businessmen of the town worked to secure economic growth for their family and community, they also served in church leadership roles as vestrymen. In the early days, women of the church were very active fundraisers for church buildings, missionary projects, and community charities, all while simultaneously organizing Sunday schools, Bible studies, and choirs. As the years progressed, women became deacons and clergy, which is also detailed in our archive along with more contemporary papers. So if you're interested in getting a more comprehensive, in-depth view of your ancestor's life, I recommend researching a religious archive such as ours. You can see some of our images on our archive webpage at www.epiok.org backslash archives. Thank you for visiting our archive.